Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to implement sign up and email verification, sign in and sign out. In the previous lesson, we configured Cognito user pool and set up Amplify library. So check it out if you missed that. I am in Next.js Cognito auth project in branch two authentication start. The final result of this lesson is in two authentication and branch. If you would like to follow along, please clone this repo. The link to the repository is in the description. Let's go ahead and start our application and check out what we have. We're going to run npm run dev. So let's go to the localhost 3000. And right here we have our application. This is an index page. We have a login link. If we click on a login, we have a login page right here. Um, if you don't have an account, sign up link. Then click on that and we have our sign up page and we also have a confirm sign up page so if i go right here i'm gonna have a confirm your account and then it says the email and then you can enter your code you can click confirm or if user haven't received verification code they can click resend verification code now let's go back to the project and take a look at the code that enables this functionality so we have a Next.js project that has SRC folder. In this SRC folder, we have an app folder where we have the routes. And we have a dashboard right here. We also have the, our index page that you just saw. And then we also have an auth. And in this auth, we have confirm sign up, login, sign up, and then we have a shared layout right here. So if we go to sign up, for example, we have the page and it shows the sign up form. The same is for login and confirm sign up. So all these forms are located in the UI folder. If we open UI folder, we can see that our user interface is organized in auth, dashboard, and you know there will be other folders for other pages. If we click on the auth, we can see uh, authentication forms. All right, let's take a look at the sign up form. And this is basically the form that is has an action of dispatch. And we're going to using use form state, and then we use function handle sign up. And this handle sign up function comes uh, from Cognito Actions. If we go to send verification form, it works the same way. Uh, it has handle email verification code that again comes from Cognito Actions. And then login kind of works the same way, and confirm sign up code as well. So if we look at the form, so this is a basic form with the fields, right? And then at the bottom, we have the button. Uh, this button also uses uh, use form status, right? And we can show the status and disable button if this button is pending. So if you click on this button, in our case, confirm, because we're in confirm sign up form, it's going to submit this form to the action handle confirm sign up. And this action again is incognito actions. So let's go to that lib folder and look at these Cognito actions, how they work. So if we open it and scroll all the way up, right, we have basically the stubs for uh, the actions, right? And you can see these actions actually run on a client side. We don't have use server directive. So let's go ahead and actually put the real code in here. So let me select all here, delete, and put some code that will actually use uh, Cognito amplify library right so let's go ahead and go through this code right we are importing sign up confirm sign up sign in sign out and resend sign up code from aws amplify auth and we're also importing get error message from utils get error message but we don't have it yet we're going to create it in a little bit so let's take a look at the handle sign up function it basically calls sign up uh, from the amplify library and you can see it gives you a sign up complete user ID or next step. I'm not using it, but I'm showing it to you in case you want to use the return of sign up function. As you can see, in order to sign up user, we need username and password, and we're taking it from the form, uh, email and password. And we also need to have user attributes as in the previous lesson, we created a name. So we're gonna be using email as user attribute and name because this name is also required and we also turn on auto sign in so we will not 
gonna do signing just yet. We're gonna wait till the next lesson where we implement middleware and then we're gonna use auto sign in. So when a user confirms email, they don't have to go and sign in, they will get signed in automatically. Okay, so we're gonna catch error. We're gonna use get error message function. As I said earlier, it's not a good idea to cast this error into type any. You wanna keep it as unknown because in JavaScript, everything can be thrown as an error. And then we're gonna redirect to auth confirm sign up because user needs to confirm their email. Next, we're gonna have an action uh, handle send email verification code. So in case the user didn't get their code in the email, right? We want to try to resend it and the resend code button will actually call this action, right? And we're gonna be resending the sign up code uh, to user's email. The next function is handle confirm sign up. And again, um, it has a return, which I'm not using, but you may want to use it. So we're gonna be collecting email and the code on a confirm sign up page. And then we're gonna be confirming, you know, the email. Again, if error happens, we get use get error message function. And uh, if everything goes well, we're gonna redirect to auth login. And as I said earlier, after we implement middleware, we'll actually change it and we'll just auto sign in user right here. Now we have handle sign in function it also kind of works in the same way. We collect uh, email and password, and we're also using the next step return here because there can be different actions, right? And we check if this is confirmed sign up, we gonna resend uh, the code to the user and we're gonna redirect to confirm sign up. The reason we're doing it is because user may not confirm their email on the initial sign up, right? Maybe forgot something happened. So, and then they, when they come back and try to uh, sign up, it's gonna tell them, oh, we already, um, you know, have you in the system. So you're gonna have to log in. So when they log in, we're gonna redirect them to confirm sign up page again, so they can confirm their email since they haven't confirmed it previously, right? However, if everything goes well and user signs up, right, we're gonna redirect them to dashboard. So the next function will be handle sign out. And this function is pretty simple. It will call amplifies library sign out method. And if everything goes well, we're gonna redirect user to login page. And of course, if there is a message, we're gonna return uh, the error. And for the context, right, the sign out button is actually located in the dashboard and we have this logout form. This button will be on the dashboard on the very bottom in the sidebar. Finally, in the utils, we're gonna create get error message .cs file and we're gonna put the function get error message in here. This function will check what instance the error is and appropriately return the error message. So now we are ready to test the code. All right, now let's go ahead to and switch to the browser. Uh, we're gonna click on the login. However, we don't have any accounts just yet, so we're gonna click on the sign up. So now in order to sign up, we need an email and there is a tempmail.org. So you can go there and you can get their temp mail. So we're gonna use whatever temp mail they provided for us. So let's go ahead and use this email to sign up into our application. Let's put an email and the put name. And then we're gonna put the password right here. Let's hit create account and we got redirected to confirm your account. All right, let's go ahead and put the email address. And again, you can actually uh, pass maybe this email from the sign up form so user doesn't have to enter it. So, but we're not gonna obviously do that because it's not in the scope of this tutorial. We're more interested in the process itself, signing up and confirming account. So let's go ahead and enter the code. And the code will be in the temp mail right here and you can see cognito send us verification code let's go ahead and click on that and we're going to copy this code and then we're going to use it to verify the account let's go ahead and click confirm and we are redirected to sign in page all right let's put our email again and we'll enter the password in order to sign in and we are redirected to the dashboard as you can see we're in the dashboard there is this sign out button so, but before we do that, let's actually take a look at the cookies 
that were set by the Amplify library. So if we go to application and if we go to here, cookies, right? So you're going to see that there's a bunch of cookies that are set up uh, by the Amplify. And these cookies, as I said before, are going to get passed to the server side where Amplify library uh, will get the user for us. All right, let's go ahead and click on the sign out and it redirected us to the login page. So again, if we're going to look at the cookies right here, right? So on the application, we're going to see on the local host. Now the cookies are all cleared. And that's it for this lesson. As you can see, it was really easy to create sign up, login and logout functionality with Amplify library. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lesson where we will look at how to authorize the authenticated user.